<clears throat> Montreux Digger here. It's a new day. Um, we go get some exercise and dig some bottles. Um, it's a little bit later in the day than I wanted it to be, but better late than never. We'll see you at the dump. Hey guys, I'm back in the dump. Kind of working on the same spot. Not, not sure if that's a good idea or not, but I'm going to try it for a while. Looks like I got a bottle there in the hole. Probably nothing special, but if we're going to take you with me. What is that? Oh, it's a Wild Root. Newer style. A lot of these in here. Wild Root for hair. This is kind of an art deco -y. Piece says Wild Root. Um, we've got some files, some tools, some of these little blue bottles so far. Nothing, nothing great. And what's this right here? Oh, it's a drinking glass. That's kind of interesting, huh? I don't know if it's old enough to turn purple, I doubt it, but I'll leave it out here for a while. Alright. I'll get back to you. Hey, <laughs> get right back to you, I see another bottle. Look at that baby. Looks like an ammonia bottle from the 1880s, but let's find out. I hope it's not broken. Oh, it's not broken. That's cool. I haven't found one of those in a while. It's ammonia. Bottle from the 1880s. That's what I like when you start getting on something old. Even a new dump has old bottles sometimes. Sweet. Hey guys, I don't know what this is, I just dug this up, some kind of toy thing. <laughs> One of these things is broken, of course, in the back. Must have held candles or something. Any ideas, comment below. Um, I'm getting into a nice juicy layer here. But it's covered with this metal, I'm trying to rip this metal up the same time but just to give you guys how juicy this is look at this stuff it's just see all this cans glass so you have to be careful in hopes that something good comes out not that anything's gonna uh, there's a bottle right there uh, no nope, it's broken but that's what I'm dealing with right now. I'll get back to you to find something. Okay, guys. Um, dug that cool metal toy there. No wheels, but it's going to clean up really nice. And this uh, rubber tractor part. Another wild drew bottle, this time with the cap, though. Um, and I also have something in the hole here it looks older I'm thinking it may be a John Wyeth I'm not sure uh, speaking of which we got another couple bottles in the hole here <sighs> wow will you look at this there's a John Wyeth I knew I'd find some in here that's a nice 1880s, 1890s bottle. Always a pleasure to find those. What else do we got in here? Oh, broken whiskeys. Junk food jars. I don't see anything else right now. What's this? Yeah, food jars. 
we'll get back after it. I gotta get my tail and gear to get this stuff, this whole dug out. You guys, oh, real slow going, huh? Look at this bird I dug out. It's complete. So I made a Bakelite. Something in the back. I don't know. It's not broken, so I'm happy about that. I like finding little things like this in the dump. Um, this is what I got going right now. Starting to slow down a little bit. Um, hoping to score again here. But if not, it's still been fun today. Um, got plenty more to do for dump digging. But anyways, um, I'll catch you again. Hold on. I'll catch you again and see if I find something else. Okay, guys. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not. I'm going to put the camera up underneath. There's a bunch of bottles stuck up in here. There's something green up there. Um... I thought yeah, I'd bring you along with me and see what this stuff is. I have no idea if it's going to be whole or not. I pray if it's good, it's whole. Oh, God. oh man, it's a bottle. Big rock right there, too. There's one bottle. It's a chunker. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, it's one of these. Oh, wow, it's kind of cool. Find a whole one. It's kind of cool, it's nice green. Probably leave it though for another time. This is a prune juice. They are pretty bottles. I do have a bunch at home that I've dug. But I was kind of hoping it would be like a refrigerator bottle. Still very pretty. I'll stick it back in the hole before I leave. But let's see if there's another one in here. Oh, that was broken. Just broke off right in my hand. Okay. Dirt in my mouth, that's great. All right, we'll see if we can find something else. Okay guys, it's been really slow going. I got something in the hole here, it looks interesting. Could be nothing, could be jinxing myself, but it's the best thing I've seen yet. Let's see if we can get it out together. It's very tight in there, I hope it's not a wine bottle or something. <clears throat> oh, it's still going in there. I rock. be amazing if it's whole. I'm holding. I have no glove on because of the camera. I can't run the camera. Ouch. Oh gosh. I hope this is something good after all this. Oh, 
Oh boy. Sight in there. something on it. Oh, please. Okay, it's coming. Let's see. Real careful. Oh. Oh. Looks like it's complete. That's... Oh, there's a stopper right down there in the hole, too. See that? I'll have to get that in a minute. Let's see what it is. Diamond. Diamond. Diamond Bottling Company, Waterbury, Connecticut. That's cool. And I got the stopper in the hole. I'm going to cover this up before it cracks. But there you go. Finally guys, I hope this is whole, I really do. If not, I'm gonna be sorry, but I got an orange crush, 1940s, in the hole here, one of my favorite kind. I please hope it's whole. Oh yes. Claremont, New Hampshire. Orange Crush. Don't find these every day. Awesome bottle. Like I said, they're not huge money makers or anything, but I like, you know, if I'm going to dig newer dumps, I want to find sodas and milks. I haven't found a damn milk yet, but um, I'll take these all day. Um, I also got a spoon a few minutes ago, nothing too fancy, um, one of these old talcum for men, Old Spice, it's probably not that old, but kind of cool. Well, hopefully I'll get back to you with something else. If not, happy hunting. Hey guys, Montreal Digger here for the cleanup. Um, we'll start with this one here. This was a bottle from the last dig. I finally got around to cleaning it a little bit. Um, I got to put a little box on there. It'll bring it out better, but it's still pretty good shape. Um, this is a cool jar. I found I don't usually take jars, but that one was pretty cool. That's complete. Nothing on the back of it. I don't think it's real special, but it's kind of a, ni a nice design. Um, ammonia bottle from the 1880s. I'm trying, it's cool to find an old bottle there or two. There should be some more there, I hope. Um, this is a John Wyeth, Jano Wyeth, 
malt, liquid e extract malt. Let's see, um, this was another cool find I've never seen before. Whoops, there goes the stopper. Diamond. The Diamond Bottling Company, Waterbury, Connecticut. That was a cool find. And it did have the stopper. The metal was all rusted out, but that's a stopper that was in it. And, whoops. You got your D patent Coke. 1943 and one of my favorites I was ho lost some of the label in the transport but it's too bad this is one of my favorite bottles to find yeah 1940s orange crush they're, they're not that rare, but something about them. The label's a little bit chipped up there. It did have this on the back. It's complete. Like I said, I gotta find a better way to transport those. Um, this was a wild route. And the only reason I took this was because it came with the cap. Just a plastic cap, you know, this is probably from the 40s, not an old or valuable, but it's kind of nice to have a bottle with a cap. That's for hair. They've made a lot of different hair products for a long time. Um, this is a uh, must roll. It says must roll Cleveland, but this is a reason I got this was because of my grandmother. Um, she told me the story how we, they would ha use Musterol for, like, instead of uh, Ben Gay. Um, it was mustard seeds mixed with goose grease. Um, and she told me the story about that they used to use. Um, and it would heat up, obviously, with the mustard seeds on your body and for aches and pains. So I got that because of her. And this car, which is one of my favorite finds. You know, no wheels, it's metal. Number tw 12. Used to be red. You can still see some red paint on it. Number 12 with the racer. I like that. I like finding stuff like that. And the... Uh, I guess this is a salt and pepper shaker, but it's a bird. It is complete, even though I'm missing some paint here and there. This, I have no idea. It's some kind of Halloween toy. It does have some damage. It looks like it was a candle holder. A couple of them are broken. Um, it does say made in Germany. Um, of course, I got a spoon. Nothing that special, but I got this part of a rubber tractor. It's too bad that wasn't whole and complete. Sometimes you're lucky enough to find them complete, but I just grabbed that because it was kind of unique. And this I don't think is old, but it's an old spice. Again, it had the top. Talcum for men. I know they don't like to use talcum anymore. But that's, there you have it. Happy hunting.